So when the patients fail all the non-operative measures, when they have severe symptoms, when the imaging findings correlate nicely with the physical examination and the clinical history, then we think about surgery. I like to say all the lines are kind of intersecting at the right diagnosis and the right plan. If we decide as a team, and oftentimes we'll send the patients back and forth from the spine surgeon to the shoulder specialist, and we decide it's coming from the shoulder, then we can treat issues here. So if the patient has a rotator cuff tear, we can repair those. If they have arthritis, we can take care of the arthritis and possibly replace the joint and other things that I know less about. But if you have an issue with your cervical spine or your patient does or their shoulder, make sure to consider both, try all the non-operative measures, and really save surgery as a last resort.